What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time right now on my iPad. I played the first Plants vs. Zombies for hours and I even played it again right here on my Zach Scott Games channel. So I'm excited to play and learn more about this sequel. Thanks to you guys, my channel has turned into quite a success recently. The first episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf, my latest series, has over 7,000 likes. I'd be thrilled to see this video reach that level, so thanks in advance. Also, thanks for subscribing. I just recently hit 250,000 subscribers. That's a quarter million. Thank you guys so much. You may have come from Instagram, my Facebook fan page, or even my Zach Scott YouTube channel, but wherever you came from, let me know in the comments below, and thank you for being here. Now, without further ado, let's kick off Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and skip over these fundamentals because I played the first game, and I played it very recently right here on the Zack Scott Games channel, so let's skip over the fundamentals. And uh, this is Zack Scott's house. Looks like there's a dinosaur fossil right there. There's some zombies that we all know and love. Lawnmower set up. All right, I think it's going to start, off, start us off with some classic gameplay. Ooh, those, those lines are interesting. Pick up sun just like before. The graphics are fairly decent, just like before. The graphics look a little bit better. The animations look a little bit smoother. And uh, how is this day four? What in the world? I don't understand why it's day four. Okay, so let's uh, start this off. We're like the fundamentals, the first three levels? What's the deal? <laughs> I'm a little bit perplexed. Now the zombies are walking with a totally different strut than before. If that's the right word. Strut sounds like a good word to describe what they're doing. Putting these guys here. The animations are definitely more frames, a lot smoother. Uh, they're looking good. This game is looking pretty good. And uh, stylized mostly the same as before, just uh, with some slight differences. Oh boy, I gotta figure out what to do here. I'm gonna focus right there on that. Save up a hundred. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the mechanics, I highly recommend that you go ahead and watch my previous Plants vs. Zombies series, since this is the sequel to it. I honestly don't know how I'm on day four already, unless it, that was just what happens when you skip. We're going right into it. Things are looking on the up and up. Pretty good right here. I always do two columns of sun, at least in the previous game, so we're gonna see how I handle it here. There we go, we got a whole line, whole column of those, of those pea shooters going as well. Now, for those of you who don't know, the uh, zombies wearing the cones are um, stronger <laughs> in the sense uh, of defense, not so much offense. So the music is pretty good. The music is relatively the same. All right, we are finishing these guys off pretty quickly. And so, see what I mean? need a walnut right there to protect. Now walnuts basically make it so that the zombies have to stop to eat them. Oh, and the zombies right here with the buckets, even worse. Gonna go ahead and let him walk into uh, one of those uh, those potatoes that explode. So yeah, we are, uh, we are in pretty advanced gameplay already with uh, this game, and I don't know if it's, I, I guess it is because I must have skipped the, uh, the tutorial stages. Got a coin there. Coins can be used to buy cool stuff later, as it says. All right, well, here we are with the final wave, and uh, I'm not really sure what it's going to have me do, uh, what it's going to, you know, pit me up against, but I'm basically going to take a uh, final wave. We know it. This is classic Plants vs. Zombies gameplay right here, and uh, that's going to be my strategy right there. Block the cone heads, give extra power to the other cone head, and then I think we're going to have a very decent... Uh, completion here. Yeah, go ahead and keep collecting suns. And yeah, this, there we go. I think we're going to be lucky to kill him. I think we're going to kill him though. Just fine. He already lost an arm. If anything, he'll eat that one plant and move on. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay, well, he, yep, he stumbled down and. Whoa, what is this? 
with some hot sauce. Got some coins for keeping my lawnmowers alive. There's Crazy Dave. Hey, neighbor. Can I borrow that hot sauce? I've been holding on to this taco for forever. Even Crazy Dave has extra animations. Oh, that was amazing. I want to eat that taco again. I need my time machine. Her name is Penny, and I'm Crazy Dave, but you can call me Crazy Dave. Finally, another user who can process my queries. Let me postulate. Dave wants to go back in time to eat his taco. Again. So we got a freaking time machine here? She's so smart. Now let's go after my taco. And uh, so what are we doing? Are we traveling through time? So that's why it's called It's About Time. It makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, we went too far back, Dave. Welcome to ancient Egypt. Please wait 4,500 4, years for your taco to be ready, more or less. That doesn't smell right. I'm sure my taco is around here somewhere, but in the meantime, these plants were made for planting. So we gotta protect our Egyptian home. Zach Scott's trip to ancient Egypt. Oh my gosh, so what the, oh my gosh, so yeah, that's why we started on day four, must have been. Uh, and now we're here at ancient Egypt, day one. Uh, well, let's do what we normally do, is plant sunflowers, absorb the Egyptian sun. And uh, I read a little bit about some of the special enemies here. Uh, they're gonna be things called sun stealers, or, uh, well, I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but they're gonna be things that try to steal the sun from you, basically, and that's gonna be really annoying, but. Uh, there's just regular mummy zombie zombies right there. If I can get up a hundred, I can go ahead and put down a uh, pea shooter to stop him. Pretty straightforward. There we go, take him out. And I think that's the equivalent of the normal zombie uh, that you guys are all used to, that I'm used to. At least I believe that's the, that's the case. And that looks to be like a sun stealer, I think. We'll see. No, he's trying to take it. You see him trying to take it? Why would he do that to me? I'm trying to ruin my day, ruin my... Man, see him try to grab onto that sun? That is... Man, just puts a little extra mechanic here that I necessarily don't want to deal with. But we got him. We got him. No more stealing my suns. You see all my sunshine. I know it's time for me. Now, this will be available to all people on uh, iOS very shortly. Uh, right now, it's only available to people of, I think, Australia and New Zealand countries, I think. Not exactly sure. These guys, I can't tell if they're moving fast or slow or what. Uh, I need to do that, because that guy is going to get here. So, uh, Ninja Marion used to live in Australia. And I, I know, if you have watched my Minecraft series, uh, you know who Ninja Marion is. And... Uh, he helped me. He helped me out. He was a real true hook hookup for this. So thanks so much for that ninja Definitely helped me out. He was like iTunes tech support for me So Okay, this is not good. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there and Hopefully this will be enough to kind of hold hold the cone heads off the ancient Egyptian cone heads off There we go. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna suffer the consequences two two columns of suns if you saw uh, sunflowers if you saw my plants versus zombies playthrough uh my you know the original game which i just did very recently because i knew this this plants versus zombies 2 was coming out if you saw my original playthrough then you know that i love doing two columns of sunflower just to keep, get my economy up get my economy flowing i love how there are uh uh Pyramid lawn mowers. That's really funny to me. I'm gonna put another one of those there to stop the cone head, <laughs> the pharaoh looking cone head thing. And uh, this game, uh, you know, it's not a, f a f I guess you could consider it beta. I mean, it's available, it's free to play. They do charge you for uh, DLC of some things, but for the most part, I guess it's considered free to play. I'm mean, playing it right now, I didn't pay anything for this. Uh, but it will be available to people all over very, very shortly. And uh, again, it's a sequel to the classic Plants vs. Zombies. This is going to be one of the top selling games for sure. And let me figure out what I need to do. I probably need to drop down this there. Drop down this there. He's going to try to take my sons. It almost doesn't matter at this point, especially since I, since I just shot him. Alright. 
And so I'm definitely a little bit limited on the number of items that I'm able to use at once. And so we're gonna, gonna see how that pans out. All right. Look, there we go. Two right there. Please don't eat my, uh, my... Oh, there we go. Spadow! Got him pretty easily. Now, this could be... Proved to be a minor issue right here. Now, if they start charging me for a lot of different plants, and I, I read that they do charge you for specific plants, and I don't know if that's like a permanent charge thing or if that's just uh, how it works. You know, if that's just like the only option you have. Uh, but I probably, at least at first, probably won't be buying a lot of the DLC type of plants. It may not let me, but we'll see. What is this, a map? Yes, more coins for keeping my pyramid lawnmowers alive. And again, I don't know if they're going to charge you real money or what. Map of space, timeness. A parchment of ancient lands with cosmic implications. Alright. So what does that mean? I got a map. Now what? Ooh, I see different different times right here. Let's see. Whoa. Good news. Penny found a map to my taco. Alright, great. I can't wait to go find his taco. No, that is a time-space map to the plants that can help us. Let's go get my taco. <laughs> the next level has unlocked. Okay, so what's the deal here? We got time. We got ancient Egypt. Ooh, we got stars here. Holy moly, we're going Angry Birds. Ancient Egypt, Pirate Seas, and Wild West. And go ahead and stay here. I guess we can preview the rest, but let's not. And we can, let's look at the store. What, what do we got going on here? So yeah, we can buy coins, uh, tons of coins to buy stuff. We can actually go to a physical store to buy t-shirts and more. Uh, plants, yeah, we can actually buy, oh man, some of these things are just, you know, like original plants versus zombies items and now they're selling them? There's no way, no way. So, okay, torch, wow. Upgrades, wow. I mean, I can see myself buying some of these in the future simply because I, I do videos about this, but as a gamer, I wouldn't be buying these unless I just was in love with this game. And uh, so, wow, this is crazy. Uh, huh. I'll take a look at this offline in case I start having to enter in passwords. I don't know what these coins are. They, uh, they're not probably going to let me use these coins. Let's just get out of here. We'll figure out how this how this works a little bit more into the future and uh, Apologies for that. And the next level has unlocked though. So Let's do it level two This flower is like a loading screen. That's so cool All right, so we got one plant already here ancient Egypt day two those plants look hungry If only there was something that you could feed them Whoa plant food is packed with vitamins and minerals it's an essential part of a complete breakfast. Drag the plant food onto the plant. I can do that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, that's cool. That's a cool mechanic. I like that. Okay, yeah. Whoa, these guys. Are... Wow, that is definitely powerful. Defeat the bucket head. Same concept, right? We're talking about the same thing here. All right. Oh, now you're just back to normal firepower. Uh, I like that mechanic a lot, actually. That's kind of going to save me in a pinch. Oh, what's this? Glowing zombies carry plant food. So I'm assuming once this guy uh, is taken out, I can pick up his plant food and replenish that uh, ability. I wonder if I can put plant food on all sorts of different plants or if this is only limited. We'll see. There we go. Yeah. Collect it. Nice. I wonder if plant food works on other types of plants. That's a good question. Probably. The answer is the answer I'm gonna go with is probably. Okay, here come some ancient zombies. Ready, set, plant. Start off with the sunflower like always. Now uh, we got five rows and several columns to deal with, so let's just uh, let that ha let that happen. <laughs> Alright, got another plant here. Things are looking good. So far, I mean, not much can go wrong, right? So far, all right. I need to get. Okay, actually, you know what? You're gonna go right here. You're gonna go ahead and walk all the way through this, and then explode at the end due to an exploding potato. And I'm gonna get my economy up and running. 
so that I have an easier time dealing with the, the hordes of zombies. Now that's interesting, when I'm dragging a plant, it actually picks up the sun, which is a, a little bit different than before. There we go, start that off there. This guy's gonna go spadow. Bet your brains. There we go. So far so good, uh-oh. Plant food. Now here's a bucket head. Do I want to use plant food on this guy, or do I want to attempt to take him out normally? Let's have some fun. That is very fun, actually. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and put that there. Things are working out pretty good. Now, I don't know if this game... I, I, I'm willing to bet this game isn't fully balanced out yet, but, you know, as, as development probably progresses... Uh, we're gonna see some tweaks to items, maybe even prices, maybe. That'd be cool. All right, there we go. We got two columns of this, of these sunflowers, and one. Don't you steal my sun! Stop it! You're just distracting me. All right, and you know where we're gonna put this one. Stop trying to take my sun. And he is persistent. Yeah, I wonder, yeah, what happens if I do use my plant food on another? Let's try using plant food on a, on a block here. Oh my gosh, he has like an iron thing on. That's hilarious. What about this? Holy moly. They're all ready to go right now. Look at that. Holy moly. That is crazy cool. Oh, what about sunflowers? Oh wow, that is awesome. That is awesome, look at that. Wow. Okay, so plant food is a really cool new concept to introduce in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Uh, I'm really getting a kick out of it for sure. Okay, final wave. I'm not too worried. Uh, I don't have any plant food to take care of the final wave, but I think I'm gonna be just okay. In fact, I think I might get plant food from one of these guys very soon. And those two right there are moving up on my, like, iron-clad walnut, which is hilarious to me. And, uh, if I can use these guys. Okay. Come on, give me some plant food already. I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm old enough. I'm mature. I can dig up one of these plants, put down another shooter right there. Plant food. Boom. Took him out. It's a quite the finish. I, I often forget about the fact that I have a shovel. And there we go. What is this? Oh, it's a new item. Here we go. What are we up against? The cabbage pult hurls cabbages over obstacles at the enemy. I know. I didn't get this item until like the roof level uh, last time. So now I have I have a cabbage pult in the Egypt level. We're probably going to play through the first five or so here. We'll see how this goes. I'm not quite certain. There we go. Level three. You know what, what would be helpful? A place where you can read about plants and zombies. You mean like the interactive almanac? Nah, that would never work. Check out the almanac. So yeah, we can go read about plants and zombies here. So that's pretty cool. And some things are unlocked or locked. Interesting. Okay, plants and zombies. Basic zombie, cone head, bucket head, flag, mummy, cone head, bucket head. Great. Uh, different boosts that we can uh, that we can buy. Oh, ho, ho. they're gonna charge an arm and a leg. It looks like. Again, I'll take a look at these upgrades uh, offline, just in case you know it makes me want to enter in credit card info. I don't even know if it's gonna work. Uh, let's. Uh, what, 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 he's just sitting there. What is he doing there? The catapult's just sitting there. All right, let's go to level three and check things out. Here we go. I found some spare change. Perfect. But no taco yet, right? Penny, you're finally making sense. Here, neighbor, have some moolah. Why? Because I'm crazy. Not bad. Wow, spend those coins on more plant food. 1,000. Oh, why would I do that, though? Coins, so I can buy. So coins are to use plant food. Okay, interesting. 
It wants me to use these. He gave me coins. If things get rough, stock up on plant food. Okay. Understood. Now, I wonder if that's the only thing that you can spin coins on. I don't know. I've done, whoa, gravestones. You know what these guys are for? The zombies pop out of them. Ready, set, plant. Let's do this. Let's rush out. We got the uh, catapult now, which I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing or what. It's 100. Not really sure what benefit it's going to provide me uh, over just a regular... Uh, pea shooter, but I guess we'll find well, you know what it probably has a really awesome superpower obviously with the plant food <laughs> the, zombies. the zombies are coming. I know I know I get it let's, let's, uh, We're gonna deal with the first one like we did before with the uh, the, the potato the explosive potato Again not knowing quite what their names are. That's okay He's on his way Now I'm gonna have a really hard time if suddenly one of these Graves opens up, and I have to like immediately deal with that. That's gonna be like kind of annoying. Come on, I know brains, brains. We got it, we get it, we got it. You like brains for whatever reason. I like them too, but I like them in my head. Just saying. Spadow. All right, that guy is totally going down. There's no way he's gonna survive all this. Oh, whoa, don't take my stuff. What is he doing? Stop it, stop, stop, stop. Gosh, this guy is a grade A jerk. I think put that, man, leave me alone. Oh man, I gotta break that first. Oh boy, now I see what's happening. Stop, 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 stop. All right, we're gonna break these. I didn't realize I had to break them first. I thought they were gonna be like the gravestones of the previous game, in which uh, I had to kind of actively uh, kind of actively stay on uh, where my shots could pass through them no problem what am I saying I don't even know man stop taking my stuff it's a nuisance all right and please die oh man I see the gravestone just protected him oh boy okay but he's he's down now for the count let's go ahead and put another one there more plant food I don't why would I have to why did it make me spend my money on plant food earlier? Not cool. Let's go ahead and start ramping up production. I think some of the, the most valuable plant food would be just putting it right here. Getting all this extra sun, because then I can easily uh, you know, finance a lot more plants. I think that's a good idea. And the more plants I have, the quicker I can kill enemies. Get more, uh, get more food. Look at this. Look at all this extra. This is wonderful. Yeah, please give me that. Let's start popping out this cabbage. I know I should have put the cabbage behind him, I suppose, but you know, we'll just see what we got. When the final wave comes, I'm gonna power up my cabbage. Let's see how it does. We got two row, two columns of sunflowers, two columns of pea shooters, and uh, I think I'm going to be able to complete my column of cabbage if needed. Okay, let's use plant food right now. What does this do? All right, that was no big deal. I'm gonna put a walnut right there. Maybe I can get a whole row of walnuts going on. I don't know. So far, this seems to be doing pretty good. I don't really know. Final wave coming up. Let's go ahead and get ready for that by... Uh, that. There we go. Look at that. Three rows of explosives. Not really sure what else you can really ask for. And that's a cheap That's a cheap move, too. Especially, it only costs 25 then plus the plant food. I got another plant food all ready to go already. So here we go, zombies are coming. I know that a bunch of them are going to explode. Uh, let's power that up. What a tornado! There we go. Oh boy. Let's get some protection going on here. Try to drop that. Get more explosives. Come on, we got this. Oh man, I can really use one more plant food now, I just realized. That's okay, the bucket head's gonna go down soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh. Yeah, that's okay. I'm doing okay. Let's dig up. You know what? Let's dig up another one of these. Put another pea shooter. 
I think we got it all covered. I was just kind of getting uh, overzealous with the uh, with the uh, the plant food on those potatoes. I think that's what they're called. Please say that's what they're called. What's this? Some sort of a pyramid key. More coins. Got 720 coins total right now. Egyptian key. It's an ancient key. Now all you need is an ancient lock. Very cool. Like I said, we're probably going to power through the first five stages here. Here we go. Uh-oh, the road is forked. What do we do? Those are where you flex your brains with new plans and upgrades. I named them Brain Busters. Brain busting, very dangerous. You go first. Tap the gate to unlock, obviously. Uh, but I'm kind of curious, you know, what What do, what do I do? What, what would you guys recommend? I guess I could do uh, Bloomerang hits up to three targets in its lane twice. What is this? It wants me to go here, obviously. So is this this is not gonna be level four, is it? This is gonna be something different. No need for sun, plants are coming via special delivery. Uh, so this is like they used to be level five would be one of these like special uh, I think. Well, I don't know, let's see. We'll see. What is this called? Whoa. All right, ready, set, plant. Special delivery. Now, I hope I don't miss out on these. I hope they stack like they did before they do. You're coming. Come on, do your boomerang thing, whatever it is. Just in case, I'll put that there. I don't know. So that's definitely an interesting... Okay. That'll go in the back. So this is a special delivery stage. this next and he's just gonna keep attacking those graves that's that's good for me plant food holy moly really curious what the plant food's gonna do to that guy the boomerang guy but instead plant food there seems really freaking awesome look at that plant food here I don't, I don't know about these tornado guys I don't like them are going pretty good right now. I think we're going to be able to take out a lot of these graves. That'll be my protection for those, uh... I don't know if he's going to get bedowed. Boom, buddy. More plant food. Nice. Now, what does plant food do for this guy? Holy moly. That's insane. Took out all those grave sites. That's awesome. Alright. We got a full column of the cabbage things. More plant food. I'm gonna hold on to this plant food for a more final thing. And we'll see. Whoa, what? I don't like this guy being so close. Let's get rid of him right now. There we go. That's what I really wanted. I got some more plant food in return. Right. Now I'm not too worried about the bucket head right now because I know when he gets there he'll be uh, blown up with the whole spadow thing. I'm going to protect myself on that top uh, row due to the fact there's the uh, gravestone there. Ooh, so where should I put another one? I just dropped it there. Oh, another key, I think. There we go. Keep myself protected. There we go. All gravestones are broken. I guess, do we got a final wave for this special delivery coming out? Let's find it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Let's stop those terrible twisters right there. we go. Nice. That actually did a lot of good work. And not much to do here. I could... Well, actually, you know what? Here's what I can do. Finish it off. 
mostly. We're almost there, we're so close. We're gonna take him out, don't worry. And that was, my friends, a special delivery. Got a star, which is gonna do what exactly? Maybe give me another item? What is it gonna do? Awesome, I've always wanted to eat one of those. Wait, that's not a starfish, that's an actual star. Ugh, you can have it. Yeah, forget it, it's mine. All right, I did earn that star, survive the zombie attack, perfect. All right. Look, now there's a star on the time-space map. What does that mean? What could it mean? <laughs> stars appear on the map where you earn them. Stars could help you get get us back to the year 2009 and your taco. Well, let's get going and find some more. Sounds good. Level 4 is up next. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to check my hard drive space. Make sure I haven't, like, burnt, used up on my hard drive. Let's go to level 4 right now. And uh, we'll finish up 4 and 4. Five, assuming that's a possibility, and then uh, that'll be the end of the first video, the first episode here for Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. It is about time. Now I get it. It's time travel, my friends. So those boomerang plants are really cool, and they're new, and I really like their feature, especially when they're powered up. And I can use them probably pretty easily to take out some gravestones if need, if need be. Probably focus on, uh, again, Let's start early. Zombies are, Zombies are coming, I get it, but let's start early. Uh, and stop a large portion of these zombies from coming through with some very basic stuff. Very cheap stuff like the potatoes. And again, once more, I would like to thank you for every like and favorite that you guys leave on this video. I really do appreciate it each and every time. And uh, this hopefully is going to be a pretty strong series on my channel since the since the previous Plants vs. Zombies did so well. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, we are just gonna gonna stick with our current strategy of only using explosives right there. So far, this game is pretty awesome. I'm really enjoying it. I don't really see anything wrong with the game other than uh, things that people often complain about, where you know they they charge for things and. Uh, I don't really complain about that so much because this is free to play and if you want to buy some stuff you know you might end up paying as much for a full release game but you know oh boy oh boy we have some serious problems here maybe not all right two whole columns ready to go with this stuff I'm excited we got the economy Come on, Spadow, open up, open up, come up, yeah, right, just in time, the nick of time, in fact. Go ahead and put that there, kind of deter him from coming this way. He's still, he'll still be coming this way, but you know what I'm saying. All right, just, we're almost down to a whole column of these guys, too, the pea shooters. Look at that. Take care of those gravestones. Destroy them all. All right, let's go ahead and start doing a, uh, whoa, what is that? What in the world is that? I don't know what that is. They're hiding something, whatever it is. Hiding them, their faces. I don't like that at all. Like another freaking key or something. All right, plant food. Whoosh, boo, yeah, take that. Totally hilarious to me. Sun Stealer's on here, too. No, oh man, he's taking my... S All right, we're good. We're good to go. Mm. As, soon as, as soon as I get enough money, I'll have another. There we go. Right. There we go. Got one on each row. One of those boom, I think they're called boom ring things. Whoa, a diamond, nice. All right, I don't necessarily want to waste uh, my plant food on this bottom thing right now if I don't have to. 
No, don't take my sons! Alright, that's a pretty good deal right there. Let's go ahead and plant another one of those. That's gonna be quite useful. I'm really getting a huge kick out of these boomerang plants. They're really pretty awesome, especially their power-up. I'm really looking forward to, to using them more frequently. We got plant food. We got a full thing of plant food, in fact. And uh, the final wave is coming up. I'm probably going to be able to, to douse the playing field with uh, plant food. Really, you know, really give it to these zombies right here. There we go. What's what's going on here? All right, let's just do another one right there. Why not? Just throw something here. Why not? Throw a catapult here. Oh God. Here we go. We don't want that here. Uh oh. I'm not throwing the fact that one of them popped in right there, but that's okay. More plant food, perfect. All right, so what's the catch? Probably no real catch anymore. I'm just going to do that just to take care of the middle row for the heck of it. The bottom one's all that's left. Now, does plant food carry over to the next level? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. I have one right now. Note to self. What is this? That is a jar full of little symbols. Crazy Dave's jar of preserved powers. Use only in a jam. Do not use if quality seal is broken. Fair enough. No idea what that is. I'm sure I'll find out a little bit later. Crazy Dave wants to know what you think. Not yet. <laughs> All right. We just completed level four and level five is up next. Thus the end of the video. I don't know how many levels are gonna be per uh, you know, per thing, this is per ancient Egypt, but level five. Let's check it out. Let's beat it. All right. You have to use, you, wait, you have some power-ups. I'll show you how to use them. All right. Yeah, and now <laughs> we can break the seal. Let's get crazy. All right. So now I have power-ups. Power pinch. Whoa. Okay, great, I would love to do that. Okay, I, I totally get it. Whoa, two at a time? All right, so what a power pinch. Try pinching them yourself. Pretty easy. Hope I can do this like indefinitely. That, that would be awesome. Right, oh, great, now use the power up. Power pinch. Whoa, there's a time limit. Man, that only was okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I pinched all their heads off. Power toss. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It takes a double swipe, I suppose, but pretty cool. I'm gonna try myself. All right, easy. Right. All right, here we go. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Power zap. <laughs> Chain reaction right there. That's awesome. All right. Oh, that's awesome. That's really convenient. Got them all. Yeah, let's try it here. This is going to be intriguing for sure. Oh, I wasn't able to go. Uh. I'm a little bit lost on how to... Alright, there we go. Got them all. Now have fun with power-ups. Definitely. Definitely making this much more interactive. Let's just pinch a bunch of heads. It's probably the most efficient for me. Do some uh Whoa. Alright. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Oh boy. This is like a big training sequence, that's for sure. Okay. 
kind of difficult to pull off, but okay. Got them all. That's probably the thing I'm best at right there, just pinching a bunch of zombies' heads off. What is this? This looks free, whatever it is. Iceberg lettuce freezes zombies to step on it and extinguishes flames. Can we do level five yet? Oh, well, we did. What? Was that level, there was no way that was level five. Was that level five? That was level five. Bizarre. All right, so I guess level five, they do do something like that. That, that felt like a, a, a tutorial stage. But uh, whatever, I'm happy. Guys, thanks so, much for, thanks so much for watching the first episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. I'll see you next time for more. Come back then. Thanks for uh, once more for every like and favorite. And I'll see you around. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.